What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using my favorite and strongest Pokemon from Generation 9. We got ourselves a Palafin team for ranked Regulation H. Now, when it comes to Palafin, this Pokemon didn't really see a lot of play in like restricted formats and formats where there were legendary Pokemon. But now that the power level's dropped and Palafin is back on top and is definitely going to be an elite option in Regulation H. Now, Palafin, super strong, has its zero to hero ability. Once you swap it out, it turns to its, its hero form, its stats go through the roof, and this thing goes crazy. On top of that, we're holding the Mystic Water with the Water Terror type. So water damage, gonna go through the roof. Palafin's got Jet Punch, it's got Wave Crash, it's got Bulk Up for defensive and attack boost. And last but not least, we have Protect. Palafin's a pretty simple Pokemon, he's just here for big time damage. But other Pokemon that we have on today's team features kind of like more of a meta team for Regulation H. You got Pelipper to pair up with Palafin and for Y Guards and, you know, Weather Ball Hurricane. But you also have Incineroar, Amoongus, Golden Goat, and Annihilate. Annihilate has been seeing a lot of play across Regulation H and for good reason. We're using the Choice Scarf Final Gambit set right here. We got Amoongus for support. Then we got Golden Goat and Incineroar. Incineroar doing Incineroar things in Golden Goat. Just being a big time special attacker with Nasty Plot. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Palafin in ranked Regulation H. First match on its way, and we're going up against another rain team. They got Pelipper, they got Archaludon. On top of that, they got Basculegion. Furthermore, they got Moongus, Incineroar, just like us. And then King Gambit as their final Pokemon. So we got to watch out for our Incineroar. But I think a great lead for us could just be Palafin. We can always just flip turn out of here. We could just hard swap we got a lot of different options so i am going to end up leading palafin and i think on top of that we could just go into like annihilate because i wouldn't mind like just going into like final gambit depending on who they lead right depending on who they lead like if they lead arch Ludon, i don't mind just going into that but i also i should have define on this thing yeah so if they want to go into incineroar here that can actually work out good for us so i'm going to go into palafin i'm going to go annihilate in the back end do we need pelipper I feel like we don't really need Pelipper. I could just go like Amoongus for more of a support kind of Pokemon. And last but not least, do we go in with Incineroar or Golden Go? Hmm. This is tough for us. I think I might go Incineroar. You know that the rain's there. Actually, we're going to go Golden Go. We're going to end up going Golden Go. Or do I just go Pelipper? I'm going to go Pelipper. I'm gonna go Pelipper. I feel like with the water type Pokemon, Golden Go and Incineroar, their typing wise, doesn't really thrive with that. So if I can just get out rain, I mean, Weather Ball can do a lot of damage. Plus, Hurricane can do like pretty respectable damage up against a few Pokemon. But mainly, the one Pokemon I'm really kind of scared of is Archaludon. So if they lead it, I would love to just Final Gambit drop that thing out and kind of get in for the match that way. Let's see who they go into. They go King Gambit, Archaludon. Yeah, so I'm down to just dump on that. I really am. I really am down to just dump on that and then flip turn out of here. I'm um, flip turn. Actually, I don't have flip turn. I lied. I just swap it to Amoongus. Hmm. Could set the rain if I want to. But no, I'm just going to go into Amoongus here. Amoongus can bulk up shots way better. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go final gambit into Arch Ludon. I'm looking just to get rid of it. Looking just to get rid of it. I do not mind this trade. I really do not. As much as I want to just go into like a close combat, I'd rather just focus on getting rid of this Arch Ludon. Yep, bye bye Arch Ludon. Get it on out of my face. Not dealing with you. Bye bye. See you later. Take that sacrifice all day. So we do that. Are they going to go for Swords Dance? That's the scary question. Yeah. That's the scary question. That's the one question I really don't know what they want to do here. No, they're going to go for Kowtow Cleave, which is totally fine. Does decent damage, but Rocky Helmet going to help us out a little bit. Rocky Helmet helps us out. I can now bring out Palafin fully in its hero form. I could Rage Powder. I could set Rain. I could go for Bulk Up. What is my play call here? Because they're going to go into Amoongus. So Amoongus comes out here. Um, huh. Honestly, I think my play is to just go into you and Terrastalize and go for Wave Crash. I know it, I know it's not gonna KO the Moogus, but still the damage output is ridiculous. So I'm really down for this. I'm really down for this. So I'm gonna go for a hard swap. I am gonna bring out the rain. I still have a Moogus myself. So if they wanna go for rage powder, they can go for rage powder, but I'm pretty much just looking to just dump on this uh this King Gambit here. And I could have just hurricane away if I want to into a Moongus, unless it's gonna go for like a water terror. 
But I'm getting out Palfin and I'm looking to, you know, chunk it up. Because I don't think a Kalatau Cleave will KO us, right? I do not think so. So King Gamer ends up protecting. That's a monstrous protect. That's a really good protect because he's just going to spore me. That's a really good protect. I was hoping Rage Powder would have been to play. But... Rather than sport, but now you're gonna sludge bomb me. That's actually even better. That's even that, that, and you get a poison. Of course you do. So he sludge bombs. I'm ready to roll. Um, hmm. I do have a Moongus, but I still feel as I should just go like Hurricane here and Wave Crash a slot. Let's do it. Let's do it. If you want to go for Rage Powder, you can go for Rage Powder. That's fine. I think you might Terrasalize a Moongus here, and now you're just gonna withdraw King Gambit and probably go into like Bascule Legion. Pelipper. Pelipper's still taking a ridiculous amount of damage since Wave Crash. So we know what Pokemon they have. And we're going to see a Terror type pop out from Amoongus. So Amoongus with the Terror type. Water is water. It is water. It's just the most perfect Terror type. And now we're sitting here. I doubt you're going for Rage Powder. I think you're just going to spoil this turn. So Wave Crash is going to fly. I think this triggers Focus Ash. Yeah, that damage is absurd. So I can jet punch a KO Pelper whenever I please. Unless he's going to protect that. Um, I do take some mean recoil. And Hurricane's going to launch. Can I get some ducks? Can I get some ducks? No, we never get ducks. And you finally spore me. So Spore comes out here. Um, hmm. This is tough. I think I have to attack this Pelper and hope we outspeed it. What's your speed, Pelper? Still got the Moongus. Moongus is great. Moongus is great. My Pelper speed is actually rather decent. 117. Max out on speed. Okay, yeah. My Pelper should be faster. My Pelper should be faster. So I don't mind just going for a Hurricane here. KO in their Pelper and wasting some turns to try to wake up here. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So Moongus going to go for a Rage Powder. Pretty smart play there. Rage Powder up, and is Pelper going to go for Hurricane? That's the real question. Their Pelper. My Pelper's going for Hurricane. Can I get Ducks here? Can I get some Ducks? 1 HP. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Now I need my Palafin to soak up this shot. Unless you're going after my Pelper, but I think you're going for Hurricane into Palafin. And we soak that. Cool. Cool. So we soak that. We are fastest on the field, which is really good news. Now, the problem here is we kind of need to wake up. We kind of definitely need to wake up. But I'd love to just, like, jet punch this thing down and then hurricane slide over to Amoongus, but we need to wake up. So, Rage Powder flies. Come on, yo. Wake up here. Actually, waking up won't do anything. Yeah, it won't do anything. So, we are mm, not, sitting, not sitting well here. Not sitting well because they're going to take this trade all day. They're going to take this trade all day, so Spore and Moongus getting after it. Um, I can still Spore their King Gambit, but they have Sucker Punch ready to roll, which is really not ideal for us. It is so not ideal for us. So now it's a 2v2. I think our best option here is to get rid of Pelipper. Can I survive this poison? Okay, I survived this poison. That's what we needed. Our best option here is... To get rid of Pelipper with our Pelipper. Or no, this is yeah, no, this is not looking good because he's gonna sucker punch me. Hmm. I think he sucker punches me all day. But I have to get rid of the Pelipper because my Amoongus can't do much. I could rage powder, but would that really do much? Because I die out the poison regardless. So are they gonna sucker punch me? I'm just gonna double down to Pelipper. They might not sucker punch. They might not sucker punch. I gotta double down to Pelipper here. Don't sucker punch me. Protects Pelipper. Oh my lord. That just won him the game. I need to get rid of Pelipper though. I could. Oh, double protect. But that just KOs my Pelipper. Alright, yeah, GG's. Smart little double protect there. Poison's gonna finish off. Luckily, Poison though. Come on, man. I just need a couple more turns with my Pelipper. But yeah, GG's to our opponent. But I was hoping we could just take out Pelipper that turn and then turn to like a 1v1 with King Gambit and Amoongus. I had Rocky Helmet. I could spore it. And that's kind of where I was going towards. Just to like slow play this one, spore that thing, constantly hit it. Go from there. But yeah, now it's definitely not looking good. I mean, Rain's gone. He could miss a Hurricane, which could be good for us. So 
Just give me a second. Just give me a second. We're going through a pile puff to look to finish off Pelper. Of course they land it without the rain. No problem, they land it, and they just one-tap me. So, I don't even get a chance. I don't even get a chance. Oh, one to get things started. Sad loss for us. Let's go hop into our second match. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against a heavy Trick Room squad. They got Ursa Luna, Armourouge, Indeedy, Oranguru, Glade, and Primarina. So, again, heavy Trick Room squad. Going to be tough for us, but Amoonga's going to be a star within the Trick Room, so I might end up leading that. Do I end up leading him? Hmm, how do I want to play this one? I mean... Obviously, Incineroar is probably a really good lead for us. Just that dark typing is super good. So I think we are just going to go into Incineroar. Maybe just bring Palafin as the lead. Just so we can swap it out and get out a different Pokemon. I think I'm cool with that. A lot of Psychic type Pokemon. So Amoongus might have to be our Terror type Pokemon. But I definitely still want Amoongus. So I'm going to do that. And last but not least, so I go Pelipper for Wygard. I think Pelipper could be good for Wygard. I'm all, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm so with it. I'm so with it. So we're kind of just like looking to waste out Trick Room turns here. And then have like Palafin or like Incineroar even within the Trick Room do big time damage. Because obviously Incineroar up against like Indeedee and Armourouge does ridiculous amounts of damage. Just being stabbed super effective. But yeah, let's see who they end up leading here. Because I definitely want to try to hard swap my Palafin. This Palafin just goaded. So they go Ursa Luna and Oranguru. Now this is a tad bit... Scarier. Um, I feel like you have to protect here. I feel like you have to protect a Rangaroo. Or not a Rangaroo. I feel like you have to protect what's it called? Or Saluna, correct? I'm gonna fake that out and I'm just gonna go for a wave crash here. Now, you know, we're gonna swap. I'm gonna swap you. Are you going to Pelper? I like Pelper here. I'd rather go into Pelper rather than Amoogus, unless you are Covert Cloak, but chances are you're Mental Herb over Covert Cloak. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swap into Pelper here. So I'll save my Amoongus. I believe this Ursuline has gotta be protected, right? It's minus one. Definitely wants Guts. It could even be swapping. I'm going to set the rain. I'm going to predict the protect here. And yeah, it's pretty simple. So it ends up protecting the Ursaluna. Alright. As long as you're not Curva Cloak, it should be a fine turn. It should be a fine turn for us. And yeah, you are going to punch. Alright, cool. So it looks like he doesn't really want to Terrasilize. Which is honestly good for us. It's honestly really good. I could U-turn Pivot, but Knockoff would do more damage. I'm going to go for Knockoff. And I'm going to double down with Weather Ball. If you want to go for EQ or Headlong Rush, that's fine. You can go for Facade, too. But, I mean, you're minus one, which is really good for us. But if I can just get rid of this Oranguru. Oh, baby, we're sitting pretty good. So, Weather Ball going to fly here. Do great damage. I could have U-turn Pivot. Actually, I couldn't have. I don't think U-turn would do enough damage after a Sitch Spray. But Knock Off will. Knock Off will. So, we played it safe with Knock Off. Bye-bye, Oranguru. Get it on out my face. See you later. So, we dump on that thing. Ursulina, what are you doing here? Headlong Russian? You're gonna go for Facade, which I should eat up. I do eat up. That's that's big time because you don't have Trick Room up. You don't have Trick Room up right now. We still have Palafin late game. Weather Ball can do an insane amount of damage onto this bear. Um And then they're gonna go gonna go into Armor Rouge. I might U-turn pivot here. I mean knockoff could be great. Just take off. Actually, yeah, we're gonna take off your item. I'm not going to weather ball this Ursaluna, even though it could protect. But I think they terrasse this Armourouge. I am going to actually just attack this Ursaluna. I'm going to say it doesn't protect. Because, I mean, the first turn they protected, they're like, oh, man. He didn't he didn't go into my Ursaluna, so that was just a waste of protect. Now he's probably sitting here like, all right, I should attack. So we're going to attack him into that slot. And he protects. Come on now. At least he's not terrasse which is good. Because, honestly, Knockoff might even KO this Armourouge. Knockoff might even KO this armor. I'm surprised. No Terra? No Terra staring down the face of these two Pokemon? Meteor Beam's gonna launch. Okay. You outspeed me. That kind of hurts, soul. At least no Trick Room. That's, like, my one thing. Like, no Trick Room is perfectly fine for me. And you're going after Pelipper. Even better. I keep my I keep my boy. I keep my boy. I focus Ash up. Honestly, I kind of want it in to die there. Just so I can bring out Palafin in the rain. So knockoff flies and knockoff's just doing huge damage. So we half up, um. 
I think we are just gonna make sure that what's called dies out here. Armors dies. I'm, I'm just gonna double down the armors. With Hurricane, actually, we're gonna go for Weather Ball. I'm gonna go for Weather Ball here. I don't think he Thrasalize. He hasn't Thrasalize yet, but the combination of Weather Ball and Knockoff should KO. But again, armors outspeeds. My one problem here is if they get off Trick Room. That's the one thing we can't allow. He has some withdrawn armors. That, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Again, no Trick Room. That's all I asked for. And now we're outspeeding. We probably take out Indeedy here. We probably take out Indeedy. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. So they went to a hard Trick Room squad. They just decided not to set up Trick Room. I'll take that all day. So Weather Ball's going to launch. Knockoff's going to follow through. We're going to KO Indeedy. Um, Ursula Luna Bear probably just going to fly in here. Actually, you might soak this knockoff. But Ursula Luna Bear definitely... Wow, 1 HP. Ursula Luna Bear definitely going to pick up a KO here. And now I just bring out Palfin and win the game. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. So they took way too long to, you know, get set up here. But everything works out in our favor. It's so funny. He survives on one HP. And I still had Amoongus in the back end. So if they went to bring out Trick Room, I would just outspeed with Amoongus and just put him to sleep. Night, night to everybody. Night, night to everybody. So what's our play here, though? Knock off. I mean, if we can wave crash, that'd be nice <laughs> into this slot. But I think follow me might come out here. He protects the bear, but that, it don't even matter. It don't even matter because Incineroar's outspeeding Indeedee. Should, right? I hope so. That'd be tough news. But I mean, Indeedee's not really doing a lot of damage anyway. And yeah, we outspeed regardless. Bye bye, Indeedee. I don't even know what our opponent's doing here. They're just letting us pummel him. Like, here, KO all my Pokemon. I think they're trying to make plays, and they're just it's just not working out. So rain did end, which is a little tough, but Wave Crash is still KO and Ursaluna. They still have Terra, which is the scary part. Which is by far the scary part. And honestly, I think I might just Terrasalize my... Uh, what's it called? I'm going to Terrasalize here in Wave Crash. Just to make sure these guys can't die out here. Maybe I should have saved it for Amoongus, but I think we're fine. I really do. I really do think we're fine because if he wants to drop like expanding force, it's like, okay, it's not affecting my Incineroar. We're dark typing. So, yeah, we're pretty much sitting in a position to win, especially if this wave crash KOs, which is why I want to Terrasalize. Just to get that extra damage off. And they haven't used Terra yet, which is the scary part. But if they're going to Terrasalize, I think it has to go into armors, right? It has to be like a grass type armors. And here, I oh know this is mine. I was gonna say, and here we go. But no, they—they, they, I don't think they terrestrialize. That terrestrialize my lovely little palafin. Put a little water spout on his head. Looking for the big time KO. This is pretty much the game changing, game winning KO right now. And let's see. And there's their terror. Okay, this gotta be armors, right? Please be armors. Yeah. Okay. Grass type armors. Yeah. Easy. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind that, because Ursula's going to protect it last turn. It's not going to protect this turn. Just wait for the KO. He might pick up a KO onto my Palafin. That'd be fine. And I get off and knock off, and then it's just a 2v1. Bye-bye, Ursula Bear. Get it on out of here. So honestly, that Intimidate and uh, that Fake Out turn 1 really set us up, because they definitely want to set up Trick Room with a Rangaroo, and we ended up just dumping on it. So there goes Expanded Force. That's what I was fine with. That's exactly what I just talked about. Like, okay, go ahead. Go for Expanded Force. It, it will KO my Palafin. But it's not affecting my Incineroar. So yeah, we pretty much wrapped this one up. That Dark Typing is so clutch. That Dark Typing is so clutch. But Knockoff's going to fly. It's going to do almost enough. Another Knockoff will pick up the KO. I got to remember, I can't go for a... Uh, I can't go for Flare Blitz because that would be Flash Fire. But another Knockoff will win us the games. Actually, U-Turn will do more damage. They're going to go into U-Turn for the KO. And from here, I guess just a Pollen Puff. I mean, you're probably going to go for Expanded Force again, but... Again, good thing. Oh, you go for Heat Wave. I should soak this. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for playing. They went for Heat Wave, went for the... Looking for, like, a crit, maybe a KO, but not working out. Like I said, we had this one in the bag. We're sitting one and one. Big time KOs from Palafin. Big time plays from Incineroar. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against another Trick Room team. They got Torkoal. They got Indeedee, they got Amoongus, King Gambit, Sylveon, and Golden Goat, just like us. Now, definitely want to use Palafin again. Palafin's just an absolute beast, so we're going to end up leading it. And on top of that, 
Who do we go here? Because I kind of want to go Incineroar, but at the same time, it's like, ooh, King Gambit's on the field. That's looking scary. But they could definitely go, like, Indeedee to set up Trick Room with Amoongus. I could just set up, like, Rain. Which wouldn't be bad, but I'm definitely going to need Pelipper to maybe swap in later. So, honestly, I think we just go into, like, Golden Go here. Maybe try to set up a Nasty Plot if we can. I'm with it. Bring Pelipper in the back end. And last but not least, if they do end up getting off Trick Room, we need our boy Amoongus. Amoongus just thrives out in the Trick Room. It's just such a good Pokemon. So that's the one thing about this team. It's like, okay, we don't have like any hard Trick Room counters where it's like, okay, we can use Trick Room just to counter Trick Room or like imprison Trick Room or like a Taunt user. But we have Amoongus, which Amoongus can kind of act as its own Trick Room counter because if they want to go in Trick Room, I have Amoongus. I can just outspeed in the Trick Room and Spore for days and, and waste out Trick Room. So it's 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 really good Pokemon. It really is. But they end up going NDD and Armors here. Or not Armors. Uh, NDD and King Gambit. I think from here, we might even want to Terrasilize our Golden Go. We just might want to Terrasilize our Golden Go. So Psychic Seed's going to pop here. Um, we are going to end up hard swapping into Amoongus here. Because if they want to pop Trick Room, be my guess. And yeah, we are going to Terrasilize, and we are just going to go for a Nasty Plot here. So a little Dragon Terror into a Nasty Plot. Swap my Palafin. We just can't really take a Cow Tackle lead right now. <laughs> it just does too much damage. So, we'll swap it to Amoongus, and we'll hit our Terror button. Alright, cool. So, if they, I kind of want them to pop Trick Room, but if they pop Trick Room, we're just going to put them to sleep. We're just going to say Night Night. Night Night. So, we'll set up an Ash Spot. And we'll see what they want to do here. Plotting up. Lovely. Nash Spots get set up. Brick Break's going to fly here. It's just minimal damage, and out comes the Trick Room, which, again... Cool by me. Cool by me. Get a little bit of leftovers action. Um, I might even set up another nasty pot. And just spore you down. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Set up another nasty pot, spore him down. If they wanna go for follow me, we'll just spore down this uh this what's it called. But it's kinda weird you went for brick break there, right? Into my golden go. So we didn't even need a Terrasilize. There's that. King Gambit's going to be slumped. Um, what are you going for? Dazzling Glee, maybe? I'm going to go for Psychic. That's fine. That honestly might KO me, but I think it's fine. Oh, no. We do soak it. That's really good for us. We set up another Nash Plot. Awesome. Dope. Do I put Indeedee to sleep? I could swap for, like, Regenerator purposes. Hmm. I'm just going to, like, Pelipper. And then just start sending this, uh, Make It Rain. I could honestly just put Indeed to sleep, but... I don't want to be that guy. Let's be honest here. I don't want to be that guy, so I'm just going to go for Make It Rain here. I don't want to be that guy. It's it's very simple for me to just put Indeed to sleep this turn. I, I could easily do it. Easily do it, but I, I don't want to be that person. I can easily do it and just win the game. So I'm going to go into Pelipper. I might even swap in the Moogus again. King Gambit, of course, wakes up here. And Caltech Clue's gonna launch. Do not KO me. Okay, cool. My my only goal is pretty bulky. He's gonna psychic into the Pelipper slot. Pelipper's gonna take about half. Oh, well, actually a lot more. God dang, psychic turning is doing a lot. The Mega Rain actually doesn't pick up the KO, which really sucks for me. And I get a little bit of leftovers HP. Um What's that player? Maybe a double protect? I have an idea. We're gonna let Pelper die here. We're gonna let Pelper die here. I'm gonna protect, and then I'm gonna bring out Amoongus next turn. And then I'm gonna just put King Gambit to sleep, make it rain away, and then just set us up for victory. Maybe I shouldn't have let Pelper die. And I'm going for Kowtow Cleave into, yeah, the Golden Ghost slot. But, I mean, if you have Torkoal, that's a little scary, but I think we should be fine. I don't, th I don't think you have Torkoal. That's my problem. Actually, you probably do have Torkoal. You probably do have Torkoal, which is definitely scaring me. So we do this. Um, We're going to go into Moogus. We're just going to put King Gambit to sleep. King Gambit is so going to sleep. Or I could just KO. Instead of losing my Moongus. If 
How many turns left in terrain? Because then he could start sucker punching me. Oh, man. I am going to put King Gambit to sleep. All right, Gambit's going to sleep. And we'll just make it rain. Gambit's going to sleep. Play it safe. I was going to say, I could just KO Ndidi, but Ndidi's going to KO my Amoongus. And then we're just going to KO Ndidi. And as long as they don't have Torkoal, we can really thrive out here. We can really thrive out here. Because Make It Rain's going to do some nice damage across the board. Um, Palafin now comes out here. And I really could have just honestly won this game, no problem, if I just put Ndidi to sleep with King Gambit. But I, I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to be that person. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys, like, acting like I'm making a play. I didn't want to be that person. I didn't want to double sleep my opponent. That's just messed up, because I don't like it when it happens to me, so I'm not going to do it to my opponent. So the Trick Room's gone. We have a plus two gold to go. And I can bring out Palfin in the rain. So again, no Torkoal is, would be huge for us. And Sylveon's going to come out here. So Sylveon comes out here. Um, they do still have Terra. Which could just go into the Sylveon slot. And I'm just going to wave crash Sylveon down and have Make It Rain finish off the King Gambit. Alright. So my plan's kind of working a little bit. It's working a little bit here. Ends up protecting Sylveon. That's fine. We're going to be able to KO King Gambit. And we'll get to see their final Pokemon. We will get to see their final Pokemon. I think rain might be wasted out, though. Is that all my rain turns? No, nah, I should have actually a couple more. So King Gambit's now plus one. Still plus one. That's crazy. We've been launching Make It Rains. I was surprised that first Make It Rain when I was plus four didn't KO in DD. But, I mean, we have a dragon typing here. Which is meh up against Sylveon, so we have to kind of get rid of that thing. Or should I just steal Terra? And Golden Ghost are final Pokemon. We love that. We absolutely love that. We absolutely love that. So now I can just go in the Wave Crash here. And then, do I Shadow Ball or do I just make it rain? I think Wave Crash is KO and Sylveon. So I'm going to Shadow Ball the Golden Go. Just post two threats. I'm going to post two threats here. Wave Crash should totally KO Sylveon. Stab, Mystic Water. In the rain, plus wave crash is base 120. It's like, dude, it does so much damage. He's gonna end up terrestrializing Golden Go. The Golden Go is gonna get that that Steel Terra. All right, that ain't bad. We're throwing a Shadow Ball in that slot, which should do about half, right? Should do about half. Wave Crash gonna launch. We need this to KO first and foremost, and it does. Palfin hits like a truck. And are we gonna soak? I mean, that's 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 the one problem. My Golden Go go first. It does. So my golden goes faster, and Shadow Ball is doing about half. About half. And all we need to do is survive. Make it rain's launch, and oh lord. <laughs> Comes out of this. I think Palafin just won this game. Palafin soaks. I thought Golden Go would soak more than Palafin. Oh my lord. My heart's racing, man. My heart's racing. The rain's gone, but... Wave Crash should still KO. We outspeed. He has no first turn priority. Wave Crash for the win. Wave Crash for the win. Man, I love Palafin. I love Palafin. GG store opponent. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Palafin is back in ranked regulation H. Love this little dolphin. Doing big time damage, especially when you get it into its hero form. But this team was full of meta Pokemon. And it's a really strong team. So if you guys want to run this team, to try to push Master Tier or push higher in Master Tier if you're already in it, I definitely recommend it. Really, really strong. You got Weather Control. You got Incineroar. Obviously, Incineroar is just OP. And then you got Amoongus, Golden Go, and Annihilate. Three very strong Pokemon that can really counter a lot of different meta situations. So, again, if you guys want to run the team, rental code is at the top right-hand corner. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.